Using marker pens to give our design ideas impact can be an intimidating task. In this video I plan to break down the process into a few manageable steps, unlock some of the secrets and demonstrate practical ways to achieve our goal. Starting with a clean blank piece of paper with the intention of filling it with impressive design sketches puts us under pressure. Since I'm concentrating on early design ideas here, I can remove some of that pressure by working in 2D. So I'm considering only the side view of my product, in this case a hot glue gun. You can see that I'm giving thought to the position of the lines I'm drawing, but I'm continually moving. Stopping to think is a mistake. My thinking should be done on the paper, it should be there for all to see, and that should include any mistakes I make along the way. Now you'll notice that I'm drawing quite quickly, and that I'm not precious about the positioning of my sketches. I'm not looking for clear space for the next sketch, in fact I'm planning to use every square centimetre of the page, so I'm intentionally drawing over my earlier sketches. This stops me from being careful and in fact frees me up to allow my ideas to develop in front of my eyes. Stopping to think about a sketch and worse where to position it will put an end to my creativity and my ideas won't be nearly as good as they could have been. I'm choosing one of my sketches and using a mid grey marker pen to put down a thick line along the left edge and all the undersides of the shape. As the page builds, this thick line will represent a curved surface. Now I'm using a lighter toned marker pen to quickly fill in the body of the sketch. I'm leaving a white section near the top of the shape before continuing with a line of marker pen along the top edges. Against the white gap these lines also represent curved surfaces. You can see that I'm continuing to work quickly and I'm picking out a range of the shapes I've drawn. I've chosen the ones I'm happier with and the ones which I feel have more potential for development at a later stage. Now I'm using a thick black permanent marker to create an outline to the lower half of my sketches and to any other lines on the underside of the shapes. Darker lines, be they mid-grey marker pen or black permanent pen, appear to push back further from the shape, so using them here starts to give a three-dimensional effect on a two-dimensional drawing. I'm using permanent pen because this won't run or smudge when used with marker pens. You can see that I'm almost batch producing my sketches, rather than working through each process one at a time. The reason for this is that it keeps my page building at pace and I'm not stopping at any point. If I stop I run the risk of losing momentum, starting to become too careful and limiting my creativity. Here I'm demonstrating how to get the same effect but with just one pen. Without a light and a mid-tone pen, I'm achieving the mid-tone by going over the same place twice or more. In this case, over the thick line I've put down along the left and the base of the shape.
Again, I'm doing the same process across the page before moving on to the next process. Now I'm picking out some detail in a different colour. I'm using the same process to indicate shadow and curved surfaces. It's also possible to go back over the sketch with a light or mid-tone pen to add further details of shape to the product. You can see how a surface can start to curve or slope with the addition of a shadow. Finally, I'm using my page to play with some development ideas. In this case, I'm thinking about some of the moving parts, how they might work, what materials they might be made from, how they might look and feel. I'm considering what I could learn from modeling these ideas and how I could go on and further develop them. I'm using marker pens to help pick out some of these thoughts and I'm using thin permanent pen to annotate. I'm continuing in the same style throughout, in other words I'm using every square centimetre of paper, I'm drawing and writing over the top of my previous work and I'm very quickly ending up with a page of thoughts and ideas rather than a piece of motionless artwork with limited value.
I hope you found this video useful. If you have, then please subscribe to my channel. There's lots more on the way. Make sure you hit the notifications tab to be the first to see my next project. And take a look at my website, productdesignermaker.com, where you'll find a range of resources to download. Follow me on Instagram at productdesignermaker for all the up-to-minute action behind the scenes. Thanks for watching.